All right, I just thought I'd give a little demo of the integration I got so far. So I've got a database here with 2,746 records in it. And um, I'm looking at category full, and it's completely empty. So looking at the category list here, this is the UCS list, or as it is of right now. And I've got the category, subcategory, cat ID, and the cat shorts and explanations. These two aren't being used inside SoundMiner. But if I took the category and the subcategory, appended them together with a hyphen, uh, that's if there a subcategory does exist. If if it didn't, the category full would just be beeps. Anyway, if you append those two together uh, with the hyphen and stuff it inside category full, what you get inside SoundMiner is a breakdown of all the category fulls. So here's all the categories here with all the subcategories underneath, and I can pick things to assign them. So if I go clocks mechanics, it fills in the category, the subcategory, and the cat ID. Uh, I should mention that the category full thing, it's built by SoundMiner when it loads in that CSV. There's nothing you have to do. You can click on the cat ID as well and assign this way. Of course, it works for multiple. So we'll go computers crowds. You can save these in workflows as well. So I've got a, a CAD ID assignment here. So let's say you're doing a lot of uh, communication stuff and you wanted to have a, a radio one. I could save this as a preset and it would show up as my execute workflow there. So as I'm going through, I could be toggling between different ones rather than have to navigate through lots of drop downs and just run this. And you can see it filtered all in. Uh, and everything's all updating here as I go along. So let's just run this debug one I've got here, which is a metadata script that just randomly, well, it doesn't randomly, but it, it goes through the list and it assigns um, to every single entry inside my database. So we'll start off with, you know, row one, of that CSV list, and then row two, then row three, and then it wraps around afterwards. So you can see I've got air blow, air burst, air hiss, and all that kind of stuff. And now in the left-hand panel, this is all the cool stuff, I can view all the categories and I can drill down. So if I'm like, okay, creatures, let's go for stuff that's dinosaur. Now you gotta remember that this, obviously the metadata doesn't match because it's just randomly assigned. Um, but what we can do is we'll go to the library. Let me just clear all these things out. Maybe we'll go path name, see what we got in here. There's some handwriting. So why don't we do this? We'll assign it. I know that handwriting is in uh, objects and writing. There we go. So that's now assigned. So as you're browsing through your library, you're like, okay, I need some, some writing. I could do a search. And it's going to go, oh, subcategory writing, category full, objects writing. I'm going to choose writing as my subcategory, brings back all those records, but they're going to be from all types of different libraries. And this right now is the cartoon Slack collaboration, or I could view here and call up the sound bits handwriting one. So those are the ones I've just assigned. Those are all from the sound bits library. And then if I decide I've gone in too narrow, I can remove a subcategory, do all that kind of stuff. So that's really useful when you're doing stuff like, um, I don't know, let's see what explosion is. Okay, I got a category called explosions, and then you'd be able to browse through by path name. And these would all be explosion libraries. And you can just click through each one to audition through them. You can also call up the category full. Let me just get rid of this one. Um, let's try something else actually. Let's go aircraft as a category. And you can see because it has lots of subcategories, They've all shown up now. So this is viewing all of the categories with aircraft, and I can go down to drone, to the helicopters, to the jets, military, just really quickly. Chain all these little pills together to be able to get multiple things. So I could I could browse by a library, and then this will update dynamically to go, okay, yeah, inside this library, here's all the universal category system. Um, categories and subcategories. If you'd like to see the cat ID, you could do it this way as well. Um, so you can toggle all types of different things on and off here, who the manufacturer is, if you had microphone, metadata, uh, and everything just kind of just kind of works. 
I think, yeah, that's the state of it so far.